Welcome back to That Morning Show. Right now we're joined by one of the stars of the hit new ABC show, Cougar Town. Give it up for Dan Bird. <laughs> What's up? What's up? No. Which Dan, not necessary. we've established your name is like my name. Dan Bird, Mark Long. Two syllables. Two syllables. And people say your name as a whole as yeah, well. Yeah, I think people need uh, you know more than one syllable to sink their teeth into, so they always refer to me by my first. You're name always Dan last Bird, name. and I'm always Mark Long. Yeah, it's that's the weirdest thing ever. We got something common already. Love this guy. <laughs> Look, you're on a hit show. A huge yeah, popular sure. show. How does that feel right now? Uh, it feels really good. You know, I've never, you know, I've done a couple TV shows in the past, and they haven't lasted more than you know 13 episodes. And we just found out the other day we got picked up for the rest of the season. So that was a great. Piece of news, and uh, yeah, nice. everybody's happy, you know. Yeah, we're, we're just, just glad kinda... the lights are on today. We're gonna, <laughs> you know. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, man. So listen, you play Courtney Cox's son on I the do. show. That's got to that's got to stink because she's so unattractive. She's so untalented. It's true. I'm kidding. The she's exact great. the exact opposite How of great my is she to real with? mom. No, she's she's awesome, and I honestly am not good looking enough to be her son, and I know this. Don't. Both, both people that play my parents, her and the, the, this other actor, Brian Van Holt, are really beautiful people, and uh, there's no way that I would have come from that union. There, it just I isn't realistic. I, I don't believe it. But, You're a very uh, handsome man. But I, I, I feel flattered and honored to, you know, play her son and be a part of the show. It's been a lot of fun. Chelsea so. Cannell's like our morning show, Courtney Cox. <coughs> she's, she's very cute. Chelsea, she's right. Yeah, she's, oh, she's waiting for us. She's, um, now, right. now listen, <laughs> tell us more about the show and the character, Travis. Um, okay, so the show is uh, this, uh, Courtney plays a 40-something, something. Yes. Uh, newly uh, divorcee uh, who's sort of, you know, trying to, to get back into the swing of things. Um, you know, a lot of people have the misconception that this show is, is, since it's called Cougar Town, it would make sense that she's just hooking up with some new young, you know, like your friends on the, on the street show. every week. But that's not the case. I prom I mean, she's uh, she's just trying to sort of feel her way through the dating scene at uh, an age that can present some, you know, vulnerabilities, um, and uh, and it's and it's dealt with in a very funny and charming way, I think. And so. we actually have a clip from Cougar Town. Let's take a look. <coughs> oh. Okay, now your tongue peeks in, gets spooked, and then it's out. Yes. That's it. Okay, now work that tongue. No, 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 no cow. Little garden snake. Little snake. Work it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Work. Hi, Mom. Hi, Travis. My goodness, this is my friend Josh. He eats weird. <laughs> he does. Oh, it's like this, right? I do it like that? That's exactly. Like, oh, I love it. That's perfect. A little more That's got to be a little, a little awkward. You being the son and the mom, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. they, they sort of set up uh, a lot of different scenarios where uh, things could potentially get a little awkward. But Jules and Travis have a unique uh, dynamic where it's, it's more of a friendship, I'd say, rather than a mother-son. And uh, you have a unique relationship with your dad on the show, played by Brian indeed. Van Holt. Talk us Yes. Through that, is it, is it hijinks on the, on the, on the show? He is uh, the most fun uh, actor I've ever had the privilege of working with before, and we just have a great time. I mean, I feel like when I'm hanging out with him, I feel like I'm hanging out with one of my, you know, buddies I've known for, like, you know, And with years, Courtney so. as well, it just seems like a fun set overall, right? It is. There's a lot of just cool, fun people. It's amazing, and it's so, and, it's, and the scripts are funny, and uh, our, our whole uh, staff of writers and producers are all all just like fun, easygoing people, and we all just get to show up on a stage and you know make jokes and try to make each other laugh. I don't, I don't see how it could get much better. Now, for you, uh, when you were younger, mm -hmm. were, were you more of the the popular kid? Were you more like your character Travis, a little awkward? Because you have like a Superman complex. I feel like when the glasses come off, do you want me? Super, to? Yeah, Clark Kent, Superman. There right there. Well, now you know. Look at this. No, no, no. How this. was it growing up for you? Um, it was good. These are these are prescription, by the way. Okay. These aren't so fake, just not I for promise. show. No, no, no. Okay, I'm, I'm nearsighted <laughs> in real life. What uh, do you think of the whole cougar phenomenon? Are you pro? Is it a phenomenon it officially? No. We had a cougar in well, last I, week. I, I, did you? A professional Who? cougar. No way. Yeah, she travels around and does seminars <laughs> as a cougar. What? Yes, she's dating a 19-year-old on MySpace. <laughs> that is a true story. I would That's not lie to you, Dan. She does cougar seminars? Yes. Wow. Do you believe in the, that little uh, phenomenon right now? Are you well, a fan yeah, of that? No, I, I have to believe it. I'm, I'm part of it, I think. You You're know, the we're, prey. We're, we're help ushering in the phenomenon. Uh, so you love it. As you call it. Yeah, no, I think it's great. You know, I think... Uh, it, it started with sort of this negative connotation uh, towards like older women, 
you know, going after younger guys, but now um, it's, it's sort of transitioning into this movement that hopefully can be uh, empowering for, you know, older females because there's been a double standard there for a long time. And uh, I love that be. the older women are going after the younger guys. So yeah. listen, you, you, you're a younger guy. You're yes. on a hot show, Cougar Town. Very hot. Very have, hot. Have you noticed show. any yeah. of the older ladies outside of the show hitting on you? <laughs> See that? Uh, you know, I had, acting becomes reality, my friend. I had um, a lady stop me in the grocery store a few days ago, who was an older woman who looked like she could have qualified to be uh, Cougar status. Yeah. I mean, she didn't like ask for my number or anything, but we took a picture together, and she was very complimentary. Did she? Ha she asked you to help her take her bags to her car. Uh, no. That's a definite <laughs> no, hit on. That's a good sign. <laughs> that's a good sign that uh, yeah, that's that's Cougar 101 right there. So you're open for right. it, maybe. If an older lady approached, she was she was very classy and, and a good-looking woman. I am open to whatever life has to offer me. I love this you man. Know? Thank you I'm so here. much for stopping by, Thank Dan. Thank you for oh, having me. Everyone, watch Cougar Town tonight and every Wednesday night on ABC. Now over to a couple baby cougars, Carl and Chelsea. <laughs>